Welcome back to the channel of YouTube. You're watching Outdoors with Craig DZ. Today, gonna be doing some excavation work. Got a stump removal job, uh, roughly 50 stumps. Got permission from the homeowner to film, so be getting some footage of that. Um, so let's get a, go ahead, start loading things up. I will show loading this thing into the dump trailer. I know some people ask questions about that and there's really not a ton of videos out there um, that explain it. So I'll kind of walk through that first and uh, then we'll get to digging. All right, one of the first must do things is you must chalk your front wheel or wheels. Um, there's a few videos out online. If you search this type of thing, I know I saw one originally, that's what kind of made me pretty nervous, but depending on your trailer, and truck setup it's potential especially with my excavator 10,000 pounds that it can actually lift up your rear wheels um, your emergency brakes are usually only in the rear same when uh, you put your vehicle in park um, you know rear wheel drive locks the rear wheels so if the rear end lifts up because the trailer lifts it um, your truck just gonna roll away and there's videos of that happening and I can only imagine the amount of damage that would cause uh, and what it would cost to you know fix your truck trailer excavator all of those things because it's usually during just the load in process um, so luckily for me I have these nice uh, jack legs so let's get these down and uh, we'll get going Final thing you wanna do once you have jacks down ramps is just make sure your ramps are lined up right uh, for your tracks, that they're not too far in, not too far out. Uh, the jack stands, I wanna point out, there is a little bit of a gap under there. This thing, when it's the, you know, 10,000 pounds is gonna drop it. Um, you wanna give it a little space because the problem is, depending on how heavy of a machine you're loading, once you load it up, you may not have enough room to actually pull those pins and release those jacks. Um, at which point you'll have to kind of drive the machine all the way to the front to relieve the weight off the back, vice versa. For me, I have a little couple tricks because I have airbags right now. Airbags are out. I could release the pressure and the back end will lift up slightly. So there's a couple tricks you can use, but you always want to leave somewhat of a gap because it'll just make it a little easier um, pulling these out. You'll also notice, right, um, you know, the not having these jack stands, right, like the trailer is only going to move <clears throat> maybe an inch and a half, two inches. Without those, I mean, this trailer is going to basically lift the back of my truck up with that much weight, uh, potentially, especially I am on a slight slope. Um, I don't know if you can pick it up on the camera. It's it's pitched back just a hair, which I actually like because it just makes it loading easier. There's also videos, we tried it with the skid steer, but it made it slide. As far as raising the dump bed up just to make this angle here the same. So there's no teetering and you'll see it in the video when I load it. Once I get to this point, right, the tracks in the machine kind of teeter and uh, you know, your first time doing it, it's a little scary, but once you get used to it, it's not bad and you just kind of 
power through it also this is a pretty tight setup so there's not a lot of room for mistakes and error so let's get this thing loaded now you can see tracks are fairly lined up the machine itself can probably move just to the left a hair um, the bucket I have it extended just to help with weight once we get to the top of this ramp like I said that little teeter that little teeter section up top right before you kind of flop over will kind of help two things to make uh, a note of one your blade height right you need it up high to get up the ramps once you get to the top here you could almost kind of push it down prevent you from rocking a bit um, the boom it, you need it up high again to clear and get on but once you get up you know you're gonna tilt down so you got to make sure you're high enough up you're not gonna hit the top of your trailer your truck anything like that um, so the first time like I said it's a lot of things to kind of pay attention all at once it's fairly simple I idle it down so um, it's less jerky and just go real slow and um, everything works out 